Look, we just arrived. And it works! Yes! <laughs> I am so impressed and excited to tell you the great news that this Fringer adapter works. Like, for real, it works. And one, two, three, four, five. I have like six lenses for Canon. Now I can use them all. And yes, I did put them all on here. So, my old 70 to 200, it's a 1.6 crop factor, right? So do the math, what is that? So the 70 is now close to what, an 80, 85? The 200 is now close to 250 or so? Um, yay, so I have more zoom from my zoom. Yes, the focusing works and I am silly, silly impressed. What I like so much about this, and this is why I got the Pro, the EFX to FX Pro, is because this little dial right here. This dial, if you're a Fuji shooter, you know that you can adjust your aperture in the fly by the dial. This has this. The original uh, Fringer does not. It doesn't have this. The Pro does. Um, that's key. I'm all about usability and workability. Work smarter, not harder. From all the YouTube uh, videos I've been watching, I know a lot of you guys have the same thing I do for Canon, which is the 85 1.8. Love this little lens for the price. This was the only reason why I actually bought this adapter. This is this was $350 on Amazon. Came here in two days. Well worth it. You can find it for $299. The problem is it's from Japan or China, and you've got seven to ten days. Uh, I'm a working photographer, so I have jobs tonight, actually, and I am so glad this came in. But literally, the only reason why I even bought the adapter was just for this lens. I love this lens so much, and I know the 85 is now close to, what, 100? 85, 90, 90 something to 100. I'm terrible at the math part. All I know is I get more zoom, but same 1.8, same focusing on the Fuji system, same face tracking, same focus left or right eye. And nothing changes with the camera itself. You can just use your lenses. So I just wanted to make this video really quick to share with you my joy and excitement that I could use all of my lenses from Canon. And yes, this thing does work. Yes, it's worth $350. I was thinking about going to get maybe the 56 1.2 with Fuji, but that's $1,000. That I don't have right now to spend. So I was like, you know what? $350 is a lot less than $1,000. That's the truth. So look, if you have one of these um, extenders for your, your lens, you know, back in the day, instead of buying a brand new lens, just buy an extender, which is two times, or you can get more than that, which would double the zoom of your lens. It's kind of like, hey, I got new equipment, but it's the exact same lens. You just have an extender on it. Now, I can tell you this, and uh, there was one review that I saw, and the guy actually mentioned this, and mm -hmm, hear that click. Listen for the click. When you first put this lens on, the build quality is really, really well. This looks no different than the back of a Canon lens, okay? It's a little tight, it's a little snug, but that's just because you're working those grooves, okay? When I first put it on, I didn't get the click. I didn't know how hard to actually twist. You know how, you know how I mean when you don't wanna, you wanna break your equipment or new equipment, you kind of misjudge your own strength. Um, it's not that difficult, you guys. So, go to the click. Everything works the same, so yes. So now my 70 to 200, the 200 is more like a what, a 250? Times two. <laughs> I can tell you this. With the adapter, the autofocus, it does work, but it hunts badly, actually. However, throw it on manual, and this Fuji X-T3 camera has focus peaking, which is super helpful. What focus peaking is, is when you go to, when you're in manual mode, you know how you get single priority, um, continuous priority for your, you know, you're focusing, and then on manual mode for your lens, when you adjust the focus on your lens, when you're looking at your subject, it'll go red. Like literally, there's an outline of red. When you see red, you're in focus, literally. So I had the camera outside and I was doing it manually and yeah, totally fine. The autofocus does work, but if you're trying to like get a shot or do sports stuff, or you want to photograph eagles diving down to get the fish, 
Don't put your adapter on with this thing. Don't do it. <laughs> I have a playlist called Fuji Love on my page. So if you go check out that, the other videos on this Fuji camera will be on there. So today I have a job, I gotta get out of here, but I was so excited this came in. I had to throw this on the web because if you're like me and you're searching, you're browsing, you're hunting, you're not pulling the trigger on getting this thing because it's $350, let me tell you something. $350 is saving me thousands of dollars if I were to buy all of my Canon lenses, like those sizes for the Fuji. That is crazy. So more to come on my next video, I'm gonna show you how I program all the dials in the back for my workflow, the usability of how I use this camera on the fly in a fast way. It's all programmable. That is so cool. <laughs> it really is so cool. So look, stay focused on your dreams and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. I can't wait to use this tonight, man.